Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some very basic shapes. And this is something that was really confusing to me because unlike other video editors, DaVinci Resolve does things a little bit different. So let me show you what I mean by that. And so the first thing you want to do is bring down either a video clip or an image clip down to your project timeline. So I have one here. You're going to go ahead and select the track with the actual video clip. And then you're going to go into Fusion. So this is where things get kind of confusing because in DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't use the typical layers type approach. It uses this things called nodes. Now, this is something that does take time to get used to, but it will allow you to do some very complex stuff. But at the same time, it visually allows you to keep everything in place. And so that's the main difference between the node approach versus a whole layered approach. And after a while, you kind of get the idea, the basic principles are the same. So let me show you briefly how this works. So right now, median one is actually our video clip. Media out two is what's shown here. Now, if you notice here, there's these dots. So one is for the screen on the left view. And then on the right, there is the right view. So right now we don't have anything on the left. So let's go ahead and select this median one and we're going to put it here on the left view. So there are a number of ways that you could change the views. You could either select the circles or you could drag it up to the view or you can even press the number one or the number two and then you press it again to deselect it. And so we'll go one here and then here we'll just go ahead and drag it up here. So that's kind of how you would navigate this in general. So now let's go ahead and add our shapes. So if you notice now, these things are connected. So here is our original clip and here's the actual final output. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove this connector. So we'll go ahead and just double click on this. And now they are no longer connected. So you don't see anything out here because there's nothing connected to this media out. So the first thing we want to do is bring down some elements. So we're going to bring down a background. So you can either click on this, which will connect everything or just go ahead and drag it down. So it doesn't automatically connect things. Okay. So first we have a background and then we're going to start off with a rectangle. We'll bring it down here. So we understand the concept of these different views. And so right now, let me show you the views of the rectangle and also the background and we'll come back to these two objects right here so we'll go here and show it on the left so there is our rectangle background to show it here on the right view so right now the color is black so let's go ahead and change it to something that we can actually see let's make this a yellow color okay so right now our entire background is yellow and our rectangle is right here however they are not together so that's where we need to connect these two so we're going to drag this right here and connect it to the background. Now, what you notice here is on each of these connectors, it tells you what it does. So right here, this is like the output over to this effect mass. And I'm going to bring in another object, which is called the merge. So the merge is going to merge or connect things. So let me show you how that works. So we're going to bring this down and the merge has more options. So if you look over here, there is a foreground element here is background and right here is effect mask. So now what we want to do is we want to connect this to the merge and then right here to the meter out. But right now we have our background and rectangle shown on the screen. So if you look here, you could move your rectangle around. Actually, we'll go ahead and select the rectangle, move it around, or you could even move it around here. So as you can see, we can move things around. We could resize it. But what we actually want to do is have this new rectangle and background above our final output. So that's why this merge is so important. So we're going to go ahead and connect both of these elements from the background over to this merge. So now it's connected to all of this. And we'll go here to our media out, make sure it's on the right view. And there it is. We now have our brand new shape and background color 
above our actual video clip. And if I go here to media one, so you could see here, we could see the outline of our shape and the background color. And we can still do all the resizing that we need. And then some other things that you can do with the shape is instead of just having it be a solid color, if you just want an outline, you could come here to the actual rectangle properties and see where it says solid. Just uncheck that. Now it's not solid. And now you could actually change the border options. So here's the border width is at zero. If you increase it, it will increase the size of the borders. And so that is another thing that you could do with the shape. And as you can see, it is kind of confusing at the beginning. But once you understand how to connect these and how they kind of work, it's a pretty easy process and it's very flexible. So that is the rectangle. For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So let me show you some other shapes. And so we're going to go ahead and disconnect this rectangle for now. Just double click on this. So now it's gone. We're back to our background and merge. So we could bring down an ellipse, which is basically a circle. So we see our ellipse here. You can resize it, change the shape to an actual ellipse. And in this case, we have our circle. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect it to our background. And there we have our familiar shape. And very similar to what we did before, you can remove the solid and just make that an outline. But I'm just going to leave this a shape for now. And then finally, we have another shape which is a little bit more creative. <laughs> so this is basically the polygon. So this will allow you to create shapes and not just use a standard square, rectangle, or ellipse circle. So in this case, you're going to be connecting dots, basically. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a triangle because that's a very common shape. That's one point. Here's a second point. Here's another point. And there's that point. And then we'll connect it to our background. Bam, we have our triangle. But you could also create many other odd shapes or just whatever shape suits your design needs. And so you could actually create pretty much any type of shape that you want to design. So we'll go ahead and create some points here. Then you could drag this if you like. Now I am not a designer myself. And so this might look absolutely crazy. But it just kind of goes to show you that you can create whatever type of shapes that you want. It just really depends on your creativity, your skill set, and also how crazy you want things to look like, like I have here. So that is the polygon. And those are like three primary main types of shapes that you can use. And let's go back to the rectangle because I think that's something that's easy for us to understand because now we understand the basic concepts for how to create these shapes and how to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a solid again. Go ahead and resize it, move it over and go ahead and go back to our edit and we'll see it here on top of the clip. Now, if you notice right now, it's going to be kind of slow because it is rendering this out. And so at least right now, our shape isn't doing anything. We could actually add animation on this. So let me show you how to do that real quick. So as you can see here, it is on top of our entire clip. So let's go back to Fusion. Now, if you notice something here, we have frames right here. So let's just say at the beginning of this, you know, I want this rectangle to basically be a small rectangle. And then somewhere in the middle, I want it to be large. Okay. So let's just say at this point, we want it to be smaller. So if you go here on your inspector elements for the rectangle, you see all these options. And so here I actually want to change the width and the height. So let's go ahead and add a keyframe here. Okay. So now we'll resize it. Okay. So there's a keyframe there. 
and then at this particular frame we'll go ahead and add another keyframe but if you resize it it should automatically add a keyframe for you because you've already added a keyframe prior to that so now if you go back to the beginning then you play this it's going to go ahead and have this animation and as I stated earlier it is rendering this out so it might take a little bit of while but once it renders out this should go pretty fast and so if we go back to the edit you notice up here it's rendering it out for the entire clip so once this entire bar turns blue your animation should be really smooth so you can see that blue right there it's rendering it and this is just a very simple animation but you understand the concept here so that is how you would actually create these shapes add some animation and also add it to your entire clip but what if you don't want it for your entire clip well there's another way that we could do that and so one of the ways that you could reset everything you could choose your clip and then right click on your mouse and then you could choose reset fusion composition or if you are already in fusion you could come up here to fusion reset composition it does the same thing so we'll go ahead and reset everything and then it's going to go back to how it was at the beginning so if you go back to your edit we no longer have that fusion effect so let's say for example we only want the shape to begin right here so this is how we're going to do that instead of applying it to the whole clip we only want to apply it to a certain part of our clip and so the way in which we do that if you go here on the left so then you're going to come down here to effects and you see adjustment clip and fusion composition so we want to choose this adjustment clip and i'm going to put it right here and you could also zoom in as well and in this adjustment clip whatever we do here will only affect this part of the clip which is a great thing to have so we do the same thing as we did before we're going to check this adjustment clip instead of the entire video clip we're going to go into fusion and we're going to add our very basic shape so i'm going to remove that move this down here we'll add our rectangle background and then merge and so now this should be very familiar to us so we'll connect this connect this right here and then we'll connect these two things bam there is our shape with the background color and we'll change the background color again this time to something a little different I'm gonna move this around and we're gonna go ahead and show median one here and here's the great thing about using this whole adjustment clip it doesn't affect your entire clip and the great thing is you could move this around or you could even duplicate this as well so it gives you a lot more control and now you can do everything that you did previously here in fusion and so it works really well now the final thing that i want to show you is how to add text on top of all this so we'll go ahead and remove this connection to merge we're going to drag down text so this one's a little trickier but as with the other thing it gets a little bit easier so we'll just go and say hello all right i'm going to change the text because it's going to be on top of this bright green and now what we need to do is we need to add another merge node because it's going to merge all these elements together so i'm going to bring down the merge okay so now that we have our second merge element this one's a little bit tricky so what you actually want to do is you want the background to be your background and you want your text to be in the foreground so we're going to move it here so now if you notice it's on background and then here is the foreground element and we want our text to be in the foreground so there is our text and if we choose the text we could actually move our text around resize it you know do whatever we need to do with this whole text element but that's a real simple way in which you could actually not only add a shape but also add some text and a little bit of animation that we saw earlier so as you can see here creating these shapes can be a little confusing at first and i would say it's a little bit more complex than it needs to be but once you learn how to use this and understand how nodes work within fusion 
things could get a lot easier and you could do some really advanced stuff as well much later on but at least for like basic shapes and stuff once you have these concepts down it's going to be much easier for you to create and use them whenever you need it and so that is it for this particular video if you actually had any thoughts on shapes text or anything that i've shown you here be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my davinci resolve tutorials and tips i do have a playlist i'll leave that in the description area below so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on youtube and other places on the internet then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.